basically you were doing a lot of action sketches, but you had, you could do landscapes, you could do, you could do peoplescapes if you wanted to. Yeah, it was something uh, just a bit different than what I'm usually doing artistically. Like with flat drawing, I'm drawing people and more people and more people. And this I get to draw some animals and they don't sit still. It's great, a challenge. I think the great variety that we got to do, we got to go all over the place, and so it was interesting seeing so many different kinds of shapes that we got to look at, and also fighting movement. Well, one of the nice things about the workshop uh, is the wide range of students that we have coming into the workshops that are in our classes, and they're not just students who are in the classes as digital or degree-seeking students. They are uh, students from all over, from the community, and from uh, tourists that come here for winter winter vacations, such as Alan Maydak, who came here from Washington. I have older students that come and take classes for their own interests. I have students, we had a mother and daughter who came to the workshop together, and there's just a wide range of students and interaction of people. Uh, overall, it was good. I, it was just a nice day at the zoo. Doing some drawing. I enjoyed it. I used a couple different things. I had some brush pens. I've always liked using them because they kind of give the illusion of ink, but mostly I was doing pen and ink because it's really rough feeling and great for hashing and stuff like that. You know, I wasn't carrying a brush or a palette, but <laughs> I was carrying a digital camera and found it. Uh, Quite uh, enjoyable. I used watercolor, um, ink, and uh, gee whiz, a brush to go with the watercolor. I used a uh, pro color, solely uh, digital medium. It uh, uh, just a stylus and a tablet. It's a lot more portable. You don't have to worry about ink or paint drying or anything, so it makes it easier. Uh, specifically, it was. Uh, Learning to do gestures of the animals uh, quickly, being able to measure them and then measure them in a different position. The thing I got out of it is I uh, always enjoy trying to find new and different compositions. Having to move quickly, uh, the animals won't stay still for you, unlike people, so you have to get the exaggerated gestures down. Whenever you're painting outside, you try to paint as quickly as possible, and that usually yields the best result. Stepping out of the classroom builds more enthusiasm for learning. It's a different way to learn and to experience the world, and it, it makes students think a little bit differently. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to learn from other people and not just be insular. It's you know, painting from real, real life, it's right in front of you. And it's, it's totally different from doing a still life in a studio. Oh, you get to work with so many different people, um, it's a fantastic atmosphere. It really makes you think differently when you're working with the animals as opposed to working with people. And it's um, a lot of a challenge. Develop new, new methods of trying to uh, get the animals or whatever it is into position. Sometimes it just means coming back, a little more patience, but also uh, in that environment was a lot of other students having different views. Uh, you learn from them as well. Well, as artists, uh, doing things differently than uh, what you're normally doing is just a good way to uh, learn to be a little bit more creative as an artist, I think.